For a fun and colorful twist on classic shortbread cookies, try this strawberry shortbread recipe. Strawberry preserves are baked right into these tender cookies. Plus, they get a double dose of berry flavor from a strawberry glaze. Start with two tablespoons of strawberry preserves in a large bowl. If there are any large chunks of strawberries, snip them into smaller pieces with kitchen shears. Add one cup of softened butter and a half teaspoon of almond extract. Beat with an electric mixer on medium speed until everything is well combined. Put the strawberry butter onto a sheet of plastic wrap and shape it into a six inch log. Freeze it until it's firm. It'll take about one to two hours. Now preheat the oven to 325 degrees. In a large bowl, with two and two-thirds cups of all-purpose flour, add a half cup of sugar and an eighth teaspoon of salt. Stir until it's combined. Now cut the chilled butter log into smaller pieces. And then cut the butter into the flour with a pastry cutter until the mixture looks like fine crumbs and starts to cling together. Knead the dough until it's smooth. It will become easier to work with as it warms up. Now shape the dough into a ball. Divide it in half. Lightly flour your work surface and roll one dough ball out to a one quarter inch thickness. Cut out square or round cookies with a one and a half to two inch scalloped edge cookie cutter. Continue rolling the leftover dough. Place the cookies one inch apart on ungreased cookie sheets. Bake the cookies until the edges just begin to brown. It'll take about 12 to 14 minutes per batch. If you're baking two sheets at once, rotate them halfway through to ensure even baking. Once they're baked, move the cookies onto a wire rack and let them cool completely. While the cookies are cooling, let's make the glaze. Put one more tablespoon of strawberry preserves in a microwave at 50% power for about 30 seconds, just until it's melted. Add them to a medium bowl. With a small wire whisk, stir in two cups of powdered sugar and one tablespoon of milk. The glaze will be quite stiff, so to adjust it to a smooth, spreadable consistency, whisk in a little more milk as it's needed. When the cookies are completely cool, spread or drizzle the tops with the glaze. If you like, sprinkle the cookies with coarse sugar for a little extra sparkle. Let the cookies sit until the glaze is completely set before you pack them in layers, separated by pieces of wax paper in an airtight container. These cookies are great keepers, up to three days at room temperature or three months in the freezer.